This film is about the restoration of the backlights. And I know what you're thinking. He's running out of cool topics and now we're supposed to watch the sideshows. That is not the case. I promise you this film is about as dull as all the others I made. It is Porsche at its best. Every single part is made of metal, the case even of cast aluminium. Glorious pre-thermoplastic times. I start to believe, however, that the phenomena of contact corrosion was not widely understood back in the days. The first challenge, accordingly, was to get the back covers off. You guessed it, contact corrosion has seized up the screws. I applied the usual arsenal of methods. Welding a bolt on, heat and cold, didn't work. But eventually the thermal stress at least broke off the screw head. Hmm. Okay. At least I found a method to get the covers off at all. Next challenge, removing the remainings of the broken screws. Drilling out a steel screw from an aluminium case is a very, very difficult thing to do. I knew that theoretically and after a couple of attempts, I also knew from practical experience. At this point, I put away the whole thing for at least three weeks when the purchase of this little multi-tool opened up a new perspective for a repair, as its tiny cutting discs allowed me to do surgery inside the housing. I cut off slice by slice till the entire screw was gone, and after that creating new threads in the soft material was a breeze. When finally I had cleaned the housings properly, the findings weren't good. Further corrosion had eaten away parts of these screw supports. Aluminium as such rusts like hell. But the good thing is that the resulting aluminium oxides, unlike iron oxides, quickly build a thin but strong layer that keeps further oxygen away. 
remove this layer by stone chips, parts rubbing at each other, or contact corrosion, the effect will be horrendous. I first had little hope that I'd find a proper method of repair, but then I remembered the so-called liquid metal, which in the past I sometimes used to fill unwanted screw holes. And it worked. It worked impeccably. It's basically a two-component epoxy resin that contains enough metal powder to give it the thermomechanical properties of real metal. It has reasonable strength and shock resistance and I shall be very surprised if the repair weren't durable for many years to come. In fact it went so well that I didn't only use it to repair the cracks but also to double up some of the superficial corrosion. These steel covers point towards the wheelhouse and especially at the left side of the car. They are fully exposed to stone chips and dirt. Mine had a corrosion damage at the worst imaginable spot. I tried hard soldering on it, a method that I much love. As the solder first wouldn't flow into the gap properly, I simply flipped the washer, applied some heat again and it all fell in place. Every rubber part that I hold in hands during restorations is getting a treatment with plastic conditioner which gives back some plasticizers to the material, making it nice and soft and fluffy. The seals significantly grew in size during the process and soaked up most of the product, but they shrink again back to the original size in the course of a day or two. The G-Model's tail light glasses have a back-painted black frame which needed some touch-up.
Do you remember these PVC insulation tapes of the 80s? Such a rubbish product. I replaced it entirely with self-welding tape. In my car, as I'm sure you remember, some sealing compound was used for the covers, but I replaced it with these quality EPDM seal profiles, which I found on Amazon. Reconnecting the cables, I looked up their positions in the pictures and films I took while disassembling and it's this little additional piece of insulation that I fell in love with, the red thingy. I mean, some guy in the testing department must have said to a designer guy, look, we have some cases of shorts in the backlights, can you guys see what's going wrong there? The reasons why the city of Stuttgart is so successful with their car industry, I genuinely believe it's a mentality thing. One typical expression there is nix gesagt ist genug lobt, which basically translates to not complaining is praise enough. And if you never lose much time with praise and you don't have a beautiful country to talk about like the Italians or food and wine like the French, you can spend some of your time talking about little red insulation thingies. So the designer went to the purchaser guy and he said, call Bosch and buy us a little red thingy, but make sure they don't charge us too much. And that's what he did back in the 70s. In the 80s, the purchaser guy started asking three different companies. The engineer selected one and the purchaser told the supplier, look, the others charge us half the price. Why don't you rethink your offer? In the 90s, the purchaser selected the cheapest without asking the engineer. And another 10 years later, he said, hey, engineer, we have these Chinese guys here who are selling us backlights for half the price. Make sure they don't fail as long as they are covered by the warranty. In order to honor the automotive industry of the good old days, I handmade little black insulation thingies. Whenever a 911 drives through rain, these screws are exposed to the water raised by the wheels, so it really screams stainless steel. Stainless steel screws, however, in connection with the aluminium housing is a very bad idea because of contact corrosion. I know I'm literally playing with fire here, but it tempts me so much to find out whether the thread lock liquid will help avoiding the problem. I'll have a look in a year and I'll let you know. Till then, please like and comment, and if you enjoy my videos, please tell your local Porsche community about them. If you're not mad enough to restore these tail lights like I did, but you don't want plastic aftermarket lights, you can finally be helped. My friends at JP who are a sponsor to my channel will release a product which is made of the original materials a couple of weeks after the release of this video.